Welcome to the most famous road in Chiang Mai, Thailand, Nimit Haiman Road, also known as Coffee Street. How cute is this? I've never been to a coffee bar. I mean, I don't, I don't, we don't go to bars, we don't drink, but coffee bar, yes, this looks so nice. Today we are in the new town of Chiang Mai, which is the Niman area. It is very popular among digital nomads. We have a lot of unique, cute cafes, a lot of shopping, and currently we are at the One Niman, which is a shopping complex. So we're gonna go around and take you guys along to go explore and see what we can find. Niman, I've noticed a lot of like, um, I guess, handicrafts, yeah. and we're passing by this really delectable coffee <laughs> shop. It smells, it smells so good yeah. in here. It's called Journal. So if you guys ever come, I think you can maybe get some like perfumes made, or they just sell perfumes. But I didn't even dare go in there. It looks too bougie for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it, but yeah. it looks so. It smells so. It smells great, yeah. yeah. We have like a lot of. Just a lot of like Shoes, clothing, doors, clothing, clothing, yeah, jewelry. Uh, on the outside, we have um, a lot of like thrifting stuff. So like thrifting, thrifted clothes and whatever. Uh, a lot of handmade stuff. But inside, it's kind of like more like high-end stuff that you would kind of find on Etsy. Yeah, sample. I just got a sample. It smells so delicious. It just yeah. reminds me, well, a little bit of, I don't know if there's any oud in here, but vanilla, musk, I don't know. Is it? Nice. Yeah. Uh, French pan. Okay. Like yeah. I guess. Yeah, I, got, I don't know my notes, bit. but uh, you, you probably know notes yeah. better. But so good. So if you're coming here, come here. <laughs> so we've come across the sign that says Nima Night Market, and apparently it's the same as the White Market, which you'll find here as well. They have a lot of uh, artisanal goods, a lot of handicrafts. It's a really like, a, and I think it's like Japanese and Korean inspired stuff as well that you'll find here so we're just kind of gonna stroll around and see what we can find wow, this. this is incredible this is I've never seen this before this is uh, rope handmade rope art and it's just so beautiful the design is so intricate and you can see like how they made it, a lot of time went into making this. So unique, such unique gifts out here. I would highly recommend if you want to buy some souvenirs for your family and friends back home, this is a really nice market to come to. Guess what? I think I found something that I've been looking for. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. I've been wanting this on, I've been seeing this on Grab for like weeks now. <laughs> and I keep telling Wissi, can we please get some raspberry cream cake at the volcano? And apparently they have here. They have like a few locations, I think. Can we please, well, maybe we get one or like later. I love a lot of creamy, like rich foods. <laughs> Volcano Pan Raspberry Cream Cake. I've been looking at this for a while. Finally, I get to eat it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not a foodie, guys, but uh, this excites me. Sweets excite me more than anything. It, it's so nice and rich. Yeah. yeah. This is the raspberry cream. Oh, is this like regular bread with really delicious raspberry cream? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's so good. It tastes even better. Great choice for 85 baht. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. 
and it seems that they have used some fresh raspberries. Cream is cool, and uh, I'm enjoying. We see a lot of galleries, a lot of uh, bistro restaurants, bistro, yeah. lots of cafes. Kind of like this is like upscale, high-end Chiang Mai. Uh, so this is new town. There's old Chiang Mai, and this is new Chiang Mai. So it's very common, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, among uh, digital nomads. There's a whole bunch of co-working spaces around here. But we are heading to this one which has a nice view. So let's see if we find it. Yes. We're just walking the streets. I think we might have found coffee with a view. But I'm not sure, it's just so... It's like hidden. Yeah. This is truly a hidden gem. Alas, they're closed. But. Right on that mountain, you could see the temple glistening in the sunset. This is so amazing. This is really such a hidden gem. It is. I'm yeah. so glad you came. The views from here is absolutely incredible. You could see one Naman from here. You could see the beautiful backdrop of the mountains with the sunset rays coming through, and the, what is it, the golden stupa? Like the gold is just glistening with the yeah. sunset. Beautiful tree that's coming up over. Like it's just such a nice place to come and relax. Too bad they're yeah, closed. They're the yeah. They close at five, but I mean, the views. Yeah. Come for the coffee and stay for the views. Yes. It's called Som Pet. How cute is this? I've never been to a coffee bar. I mean, I don't, I don't, we don't go to bars, we don't drink, but coffee bar, yes, this looks so nice. And it feels so special, like somebody handcrafted it for me. <laughs> this is our first time trying this orange coffee. And let's, let's try our first orange coffee. Oh, that's different. Yeah. I mean, it's good in a good way. Yeah. It's like cocoa. It's great. They say it's great for chocolate lovers. Right? Chocolate for good. It is for it is for chocolate lovers. Fresh orange cocoa milk espresso. Give me a shot of espresso. Oh yeah. <laughs> Market, we found the secret elevator that took us all the way up to the clock tower. We were in for a surprise. It's safe from here. Nice. But look, we can see my from here. Today is the Just uh, <laughs> another cute little window to look out of. Look out onto the market downstairs. The bistro lights. Pomegranate? Fresh pomegranate juice. Great choice. Now we are here at Think Park, which is right across from Wan Neman. It's very lively. A lot of uh, street food markets out here. A little bit more expensive than other regular night markets, but 
Uh, nonetheless, they have all the night markets, restaurant outside, live entertainment, and right behind me, you'll see Maya Mall. And right over here, we're, there's a section where it's kind of like Japan Town. So, a dedicated section for like Japanese inspired like street signs. But yeah, it's cheap. It's like a alley in Japan. I love these little so alleys. With this beautiful light installation, it only gets better. Wow, <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> finally made it over to the food court which is on the fourth floor of the Maya Mall and um, we are at the Maya Kitchen. There's a whole bunch of like a franchise like Chester's, KFC, all that stuff but then we just came here to the kitchen and we found some delicious shawarma kebab. I got the regular chicken kebab and then Wasim got the like shawarma kebab with the rice burrito. Yeah. So this looks so good. My regular one was 60 baht and what seems was 120 baht. So a total of 180 baht for dinner tonight. Uh, looks good. We're gonna go enjoy our dinner. We hope you enjoyed coming with us today uh, to spend our time here at the Niman area. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And wherever you go, don't forget to wander. Until the next video, we'll see you then. The vibe out here is amazing. Everyone's so today seems like they're having some type of a market. Sorry. What did I get? Something. <laughs> did you? Did you? It's yeah. Uh, no, I did not.